welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, what I do know is that I do owe you an apology for missing an upload on Saturday. Uh, I'll explain more when the film starts. However, I am trying out a new, to me anyway, indie brand and uh, I might just have a little cheeky discount code for you. This is the palette for the recently deceased by VE Cosmetics who are a UK based indie brand and they are 100% cruelty free <clears throat> and I believe she said they're vegan as well let me check that's right yeah, 100% vegan and cruelty free. So, if you want to see exactly what this looks like on the inside and find out what my opinion is of this palette, then you have the best seat in the house. Grab a drink. Grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Hey lovelies, welcome back from the intro. Right, okay. Um, first up, apologies, I missed an upload. Um, high pain levels combined with complete disillusionment with the way that the numbers keep going up and down. I know I shouldn't let the numbers get to me, but I mean, when I started this channel I didn't even expect to get 50 people following me. It was really just for my friends that kept saying, oh god I wish I'd recorded you telling me how to do this because then I could play it through next time I was going out. So that's really why I started the channel. Um, but it has grown considerably since then. Um, I've had quite a few of you message me over the last couple of days saying, are you okay? Uh, which is so sweet. Thank you so much to everybody who reached out to me. Um, it just, just now I felt it here. Okay. Um, it means an awful lot that <laughs> a, you noticed I wasn't around, um, and B, that you cared enough to find out why, and to send your good wishes. So that means an awful lot to me, thank you so much. Uh, I'm still really struggling with high pain, so I'm going to try and get through this tutorial as best I can. But, something arrived, I've taken all the stickers off the front, including like my address and everything. Because I wanted to open this with you and show you this because this is a it's vecosmetics.com. They're a UK indie brand. Um, I've been tempted by a lot of their palettes, but then they put up one in particular which launched what's the date today? Launched two days ago. It launched on the 30th of November, because I'm now recording this on the 2nd of December. Oh, I didn't open my advent calendar yesterday. Mother-in-law got me an advent calendar that's got a different coffee in every single day. That means I get to have two today. Ooh, yum. Okay, that's cheered me up. Um, just how gorgeous is this box, though? Just, okay, ignore the, the fact that I couldn't get all of that postage label off. How gorgeous is this box? 100% vegan and cruelty-free at either end, it says. And then when you open the box up, you have makeup so good it must be witchcraft in the lid. Got little notes here which I will read to you. This one is thank you for supporting a small business you rock. Don't forget to tag us on your social media. 
what's this feels like recycled card I love it and a little thing here which says oh 10% off your next order with code and I'm not going to read it out because pardon me uh, because she's actually given me a discount code um, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until I'm sure I like the product um, normally I would test the product before coming on but I just <sighs> playing with something new always excites me and I'm hoping that that's going to be the kick up the butt that I need to get back to filming uh, I'll never test on animals hire someone to test products on animals on VE Cosmetics behalf and I will definitely not sell in countries where animal testing is mandatory I'll never use animal derived ingredients in my products I strive to be 100% vegan and cruelty free I will not use photoshop what you see is what you get with my products and I definitely will not photoshop any of the lovely ladies or gents that appear on my site you don't need photoshop like that, like that a lot and we have the black tissue paper with the VE Cosmetics little sticker open this up Ooh, hoo, hoo. shredded paper so if you've got gerbils they're going to love it and then again wrapped up in really nice paper just check there's nothing else in the box there shouldn't be because I only ordered that I messaged her um, before the product launched saying could I buy it beforehand so I could get a film done up and out before you launch like I did with Crow and Pebble where they let me buy their stuff early um, and she came back and she apologised that it had taken her so long to get back to me and yes of course unfortunately it didn't actually it's literally arrived like 20 minutes ago so I sat down to film with it um, so it is already live Another V Cosmetics sticker here and sellotape. So let's. Yes, I'm one of those annoying people that tries not to rip the paper when I'm opening a present from people. Partly because I believe in recycling. So if the paper that you're taking off, you can then trim down and use to wrap a smaller present up with. I'm all for the recycling. I'm teasing you now, aren't I? Because I'm not showing you. One of my favourite movies. This plays a integral part. Only it's a handbook for the recently deceased, whereas this is a palette for the recently deceased. You all should know this film by now. If you don't know this film by now, then really? Uh, the back, it's got all the ingredients. And they're split out between what's in the glitter ones and what's in the ordinary ones. Top ingredients of the glitter, bottom ingredients of the eyeshadows. Uh, it's 30 grams, 1.05 ounces net weight. Exactly the same information on the back of here, so you don't have to keep this if you don't want to. Oh, let's get rid of the little, as Nady calls them, shadow condoms. Thank goodness it all arrived in one place because I hadn't even checked that. Look at the beauty. Yes, there's a mirror. But how gorgeous is that? Clearly I haven't swatched it yet. I will do swatches after I've filmed and stick them up here. Assuming I've still got daylight. Uh, okay, so reading the colours like this. You've got Linda, Undead and Art. Sandworm, Afterlife, Shrunken Head. Calypso, Showtime, Skeleton Key. Strange, Unusual, Maitland, Juno, Dark Room and Ghost. So, I want to start playing with these, basically. Um, as always, I am a teaching channel, so if I'm going too slowly for you, just speed me up. 
I will very quickly give you the differences as you know I've done a lot of chatting I'm not going to talk you through the differences between deep set and hooded eyes this time um, if because I've, I've done that on pretty much every film for the last six months so uh, if you are unsure or this is your first time and you're not sure whether you've got hooded or deep set eyes just watch the first few minutes of a different tutorial and you'll find out because I just I don't want to wait I want to start putting some of this on my lids so let's get you zoomed in and when I say zoomed in I mean zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing oh, yay it does let you fold it back on itself which is awesome and I'm going to start off with a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush, which is just a round, loose packed blender. Now, purples, blues and greens are the most difficult colours to, to create, so guess what colours I'm going to go in with first? You got it. So I'm going to start off with Showtime. Okay, not too much kick up in the pan. And I'm just going to start off very gently applying this. Now I always put a little bit of pigment on. I'd rather build the pigment up than have it be too heavy and too difficult to blend. That's actually gone on quite nicely. I struggle here and here with dry patches so sometimes um, pigments don't lay down very well there, but this one seems to be doing okay. Right, as you can see, I'm doing circular movements in this direction towards the nose, and then I'm reversing the direction to come back out again. Because I'm 45, I've lost 14 stone, which is just under 200 pounds, so the skin on my eyelids moves. But I know 20 year olds who've got loose eyelids simply because. Um, genetically their eyelids are looser. So I'll do the same thing this side and what this does is it very gently moves the skin on your eyelid round so you don't get any telltale white stripes. I'm not talking about the band. I do struggle here with this eye. You can see these super deep creases here. Um, that's because um, this eye was pulled around a lot when I was five years old when I was trying to work out why I wasn't seeing out of it properly. So I do usually have to stretch this lid out whereas with this side I don't have to. I'm just checking that when I relax my brows both sides look the same because I'm not James Charles, I don't photoshop any of my results. The most I'll do is like at the moment we're starting to lose a bit of daylight so I may end up brightening the exposure but that's literally all I do with mine unless it's a very obvious snapchat filter in which case there'll be non-filtered pictures up before I get to the snapchatty ones okay that went on quite nicely That was this one, and I think, I think these two are so similar in terms of, I mean, once they're on your eye you're really not going to see much of a difference to be honest. Although when you swatch them this one does look more of a a bluey green and this looks more of a yellowy green. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe they will look different on the eye. Who knows? I'm trying not to look down too much because I did get a comment about when I look down all you see is my hairline on the top of my head. So I'm trying to make a conscious effort to uh, stay in vision. because it's important for me that you do see it up close rather than being zoomed out a bit more 
because if you're like me and you watch it on your phone and you've not got great eyesight then I still want it to be as visible as possible for you. Right, I'm going to go in with Shrunken Head which was the slightly lighter more yellow based colour of the two. I'm going to pop that a bit further down using the same brush. didn't bother to clean the brush off because it's another green that I'm going in with so just blend these two together what I might do when I um, when I stop to put foundation on I may actually close the curtains and put some main lights on because I think I'm going to lose an awful lot of daylight very very quickly ok so this is actually blending in quite nicely doesn't seem to be skipping, there's not a massive amount of fallout on it maybe a tad patchy but that could be my eye um, I'm using my usual eye primer, the Chrome Pebble one. Discount codes for that are listed below. Again, I don't earn from those. Any, any earnings that I make or any codes that I have that I earn from are clearly stated that I earn from them. Um, I don't earn. If I, if I end up giving you the code for this palette, um, which at the moment, if all the shadows perform like this, I think I will do. Um, I don't earn from this code, but you would get 10% off. Because you know me, I like supporting UK indie brands. I like supporting indie brands full stop, but particularly UK ones because it's... I would love to get some of the like the Menagerie Cosmetics or you know the Bombshell Cosmetica stuff, but the shipping from the U and like Davina Cosmetics and all that lot. I'd love to try some of those, but the shipping from America to the UK is just shocking. I mean, I looked at on Black Friday. I thought, well, I'll have a look at Menagerie because I really, really want the Feral palette really want to try that. Um, I thought I'll have a look on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you know, today's Cyber Monday as it happens, um, just to see if there's any super good deals going. And the shipping was 25 bucks to the UK. I need to bring the green a little, the deeper green a little bit higher up this side because I want it a little bit higher on that eye. There we go. I'm actually really liking how this is blending out. I'm th I am going to pause you though, I am going to pop some lights on um, because I want to give this palette the best shot I can. And at the moment where I'm losing daylight very rapidly, uh, that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to pause you at this point. I'll be right back. I'm back. Right, I've just cleaned that brush off on a clean washcloth. I don't use colour switches anymore. Um, I find they're far too harsh on the bristles, especially with uh, natural hair brushes. The ones I'm using today are synthetic hair, but even so, uh, I would not advise using a colour switch on brushes. You're better off using either a washcloth or a microfiber cloth or an old tea towel or anything like that. Right, I'm going to go in with a Rolling Land Nickel Chic Pro eyeshadow brush, which is oval shaped so I can contain it more through the crease. And I'm going to go in with a Maitland, which is purple. 
So I've started with green and now I'm going on to purple. Two of the most difficult colours to create. But that's how I test a palette out. I choose the difficult colours. Because if they can do the difficult colours, then you can be pretty sure that the other ones are good too. Wow. Okay. That shocked even me. And I'm just giving this a really gentle buff just so that it's just softening the edges. So I don't want to take it up too high. I don't want to cover that lovely, lovely green that I'd already laid down. Just maybe thicken up the outer corner here. Because I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to risk doing eyeliner today. My eyes have been very, very watery with my fibro. But being December, I'm hoping now that finally the pollen will stop falling off of the trees outside. Hubby did the last mow of the garden before winter yesterday. The neighbours looked at him like he was nuts, but he's wanted to get the last mow done for quite a while. Um, but where he works, odd shifts at work and everything. When he had time off and when it was daylight when he got home, he, uh, it was raining so he couldn't use an electric mower out there. Plus there's no point mowing when the grass is wet because you just end up chewing it and ripping it rather than actually cutting it. I'm really impressed with how this purple is blending. I am really shocked. That's that barcoding I was telling you about that I get with this eye because of my deep creasing. So I do have to just gently stretch this lid out. If, like me, you do have areas like this that you do have to stretch out, don't stretch them out to your ear hole, just stretch them out as far as you need to, and no further, and let them go as quickly as possible. So again, just making sure I've got an, a matching little flolololoby bit here, in case I do decide that I'm not going to do liner. Because this is a way that you can cheat. If like me, if you're not either not comfortable doing liner, um, or you're worried that you haven't got time and if it mucks up it's going to really delay you, then you can do this with your shadow. And it will give the same effect of pulling the eye up and out without actually having to use a liner. So there's a little bit of a trick for you. You can tell I'm in pain because this eye is starting to look at my nose. It's always a dead. It's why I could never, I could never ever get away with lying to my mum about not feeling well. Because if I wasn't well, my blind eye would swing in and look at my nose, which is what it's doing at the moment. So I'm just adding some of this purple. I can't see a damn thing now to the outer corner. So I hope I'm still in frame. That's a really lovely purple. Can't wait to use this one again. I will wait until I've used a shimmer before I decide whether or not I'm going to give you the code. Because so far I'm really liking the matte formula. These are blending so nicely. No problems there at all with the blending and those are probably the most difficult colours to create. Purple, green and blue, my three favourite colours are the three most difficult colours to make. 
So I'm going to grab, this is clean, it's just stained, it's one of the Jeffrey Morphe lip brushes. It wasn't sold in the set, it was sold separately. This is the JS24, but I like it because you can get right into the inner corner there. Never go into a pressed pigment with a wet brush, but once I've loaded pigment onto the brush, I will be wetting it with some of this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. You can use any spray. Uh, you can use a primer spray like I'm doing. You can use a uh, moisturising spray like MAC, Fix Plus or Mary Radescu. You can use a setting spray, you can use a finishing spray, you can just fill up an empty squirt bottle with water and use that. Uh, but just whatever you do, don't go into a pressed pigment with a wet brush, because you will kill the pigment. Right. Now, the choice is, there are four shimmers. Got this russety red, beautiful green, beautiful purple, beautiful blue, and I think, yeah, that red's not going to do it, is it? It's going to have to be. Could get away with the blue, but I think I will just do the green and purple just to keep it a nice duo toned look. So I'm going to go into Calypso, which is the green. I'm just going to pack both sides of the brush with the pigment which picked up super easy I will say. Give it a couple of squirts each side to wet the pigment. Always dry the ferrule. Easiest way to do that is tuck it in the corner of your knuckles and just spin the brush. Um, the last thing you want is moisture going down and loosening the glue. Uh, I'm going to use a little mirror here to look down into so that you can still see what I'm doing. I'm going to pop this into the inner corner. First time I use a shimmer I never do a cut crease because I want to see whether it's got the opacity to cover the matte shadow. And it would appear that the answer in this case is yes it, it does. Just going to dry the brush off because obviously I'm not putting a wet brush into my dry pressed pigment. Go back into Calypso, pick up more pigment, wet the brush, dry the ferrule, and then, like I said, with this one, I do actually have to have far across did I go out right there. If I don't do this with shimmers or with any colour that I put on the lid, what happens is that the pigment packs loosely into the deep crease rather than being blended onto the lid like I'm doing now. And then throughout the day, as I move my eye, I end up with it cascading down my face and it just looks awful. I mean, if you're going to go for the getting multicoloured freckles throughout the day look, then crack on works great. And that was my fault. Right, now I'm going to go into Unusual. I love the Beetlejuice film, I really do. Okay, now this one is. Uh, looking like it's getting hard pan with just a couple of touches of the brush but it's still letting you pick up pigment even though it's gone shiny and looks like you shouldn't be able to so these have obviously got quite a high oil content to them let's see because this purple um, shimmer was a lot crumblier than the green so I really hope that swearing didn't get picked up on my camera <sighs> I 
love having the neighbours that I've got. I'm just going to clean the brush off a little bit. Pick up a wee bit of the Calypso Green. Just drag that across onto the purple and then gently smudge across where the two colours meet Ooh, I like that I like that a lot folks so back into unusual I will show you what I mean in just a minute about how this looks like it's getting hard pan. But what I'm doing, I'm actually going over the area that looks hard panned. And as you can see, it's still let me pick up a considerable amount of pigment. Can you see that there? If I tilt that, can you see the shiny area? Uh, so this is obviously very, very high in the emollients that are required to... Make shimmers shine. So, just same thing with this eye, and then just gently buff where the two colours meet because I went a bit further along with the green this time. So. You know what? I'm really liking this. Right. I'm currently cleaning this brush off on the washcloth while we speak. Uh, I will pause you again and I'm going to pop some foundation and one on. And then I will be back to finish this eye look off with you. So. Once again, darlings, for you, it's going to be absolutely instant. For me, I'll see you the next time I press the record button. Hello. Right, I'm back. I'm going to go with this flat top brush. And I'm going to dip into Maitland, which is the purple that I used. And I'm going to link that up and continue to run it all the way along with the lower lash line. I love the fact that where it's mixed with the green, it's gone to this gorgeous, almost, almost navy blue. I really like it. So, as I think you can probably guess, I am going to give you the code for this. It is like all my other codes BOMBER in all capitals and it will give you 10% off at VE Cosmetics it will be added to my list below um, and I will also put it in the top bit of the description box for you so you can you can find it easily but as I said, it is not affiliated. I do not earn from it. But you get 10% off. And uh, I'm really liking this palette. Oh, I can see me using this palette quite a bit. I feel like a cross between Maleficent and the... the, the, the Wicked evil queen. I love it. Um, I'm actually going to go in with. No, that's the wrong brush, Ange. This is my Tarte Graveyard Girl brush. It's flat topped, but it's chunky. I love it. So I'm going to go into Afterlife, which is the bright yellow. I'm just going to use that to buff out this purple on the lower lash line. Because, well, why not really? Especially after having watched Gold Star Works film, or Laura, on how to blend yellows out with purple without it going 
Shh. Without it going um, muddy and horrible. So if you haven't watched that, I suggest you get your butt over to Laura's channel and watch that film because it is super, super helpful. She blends yellows out with all kinds of other colours, not just brown, which is what most people choose. Orange. Oh, I really like that. Right, I'm going to go in with, this is a actually a lip brush that I bought off of eBay probably about 10 years ago. I'm going into Ghost, which is the pure white. Now I don't normally do a matte brow highlight. But as this has got a pure white, I thought why not? It is actually quite opaque as well. This is the problem that I have with, with whites. They're normally not because I'm so pale, normally they don't stand out against my skin. But this one actually does. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on the inner corner. But I am going to go over it with a shimmer. But I just want to lighten up the inner corner and just show you that you can actually having said that I think I might just leave it with this matte one because that has actually really lightened up my inner corner wow I feel like Kevin Wilson wow okay that has genuinely shocked me So I have a thing about, I like my palettes to look as if they've not been used, as if they're brand new. I've got a bit of a smudge here, so I'm just trying to... This is why, when you see me pick up a palette and say, I use this so much, and you look at it and think, that looks brand new. It's because I like my palettes to look super clean when I pick them up to use them. If they look kind of dirty or smudgy or anything, I just... I don't feel inspired by them. Right, I will pause you for one last time. Got my fluffy brush ready, which means it's time for highlight. I will mascara, I will choose a lippy, and I'll be back with my final first impressions on this palette. For you, my darlings, again, instant. You know, Ever since I've been using that Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, I swear my hair's got thicker. Because never used to look like that when I brushed it forward. And it's actually behaving itself for once. Recently deceased. Um, I used my House of Sparkles Fallen Angel highlighter, and the lippy is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine in shade Bud Romance. This was one of the ones they did during the summer uh, 2019. They did the little quad eyeshadows and they did some of these. But I just thought that the it would, it would go nicely with the eyes. So, the palette for the recently deceased. What are my initial impressions? Well, obviously I've used one, two, three, four, five. I've used five of the mattes and two of the shimmers. And I used the colours that are the most difficult to create. And you know what? I really like this palette. To the point I want to take this off and play with another look with this palette. 
And given that my pain levels are so high when I sat down, I wasn't even sure I'd get to the end of the film. That shows you just what a good palette can do for you. I really like it. Yes, it's a rainbow palette. However, if you've watched the Beetlejuice film, I've said his name twice now. <laughs> my hubby dressed up as him one Halloween actually, and I was Lydia. And one of my friends was actually named after Lydia. Well, there you go. Um, I really, really like this colour scheme. It absolutely, completely ties into the film. Um, oh, I hadn't noticed. Dark cream's got a little bit of a sparkle at the bottom there. That's interesting. So, do I think this palette is worth it? Yes. I really, really like this palette. Now, obviously, this is first impressions. I don't know how long this is going to last or how well it's going to wear. However, I will be editing it later on today. Hopefully, I'll get this up tomorrow. Not necessarily at my usual 6am, but I will hopefully get this up for tomorrow so that you do get a usual Tuesday upload. Um, and I will put in the description box, if I remember, um, whether this wore well or whether it faded quickly. So, do have a discount code for them. I don't earn from it. The code is BOMBER in all caps. So if you want to go on and get this palette or get any of their other products, Feel free to uh, save yourself 10%. I genuinely am shocked at how well they blended. Um, I don't know why I'm surprised because obviously, you know, Blush Tribe Certify, September Rose, Oh My Glitter, OMG, those are four of my favourite indie brands, UK indie brands that I've used. Um, because they consistently produce excellent products. Looks like I might have to add this company to the list. However, I will be trying out the other colours over the next few days. Not necessarily... Well, actually, there is a look that I need to do that I might be able to use this for. Ooh, yeah, OK. Um, I am going to be continuing to use this and I will obviously update you in a future film if I change my mind about it, but for the time being, palette for the recently deceased, gets a thumbs up from me. Right, I'm not going to go through my usual rigmarole of asking you to check your subscribed I'm just going to say that if you are new here and you wish to subscribe I would love for you to join our 4F family uh, they have proven to be one of the nicest uh, groups on YouTube and uh, they, they definitely doubled down and proved that with all the messages that I got recently from people saying are you okay we're worried about you so, my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.